Now Nguyen, already a very tough fight, very productive uh, fighter. The defending champion got through the semi-final tie with Paulo Luis Lopez, Pauline Luis Lopez, former champion herself in the under 57 kilogram weight class. It's the final of the women's under 62 kilogram final category. And they just need to test the padding again. We've had issues with the hardware, the sensors on the protective padding. So the body gear is fine. So the officials and the headgear being tested by the competitors. So Shalia Fitriana of Indonesia. 18 years old in her first significant final fights in blue against Nguyen Ha Thi of Vietnam the defending champion and a 27 year old with a great deal of experience across various weight divisions and weight classes Indonesian though is first to score Fujiana which is impressive Nguyen has got Wonderful ability to counter her opponent's blows. Goes in for the punch to the trunk. Can't land the score. But the Indonesian here is playing a very smart game. Had a consummate victory over Nurintan Zuleha of Malaysia in the semi final bout. And certainly, the quality of the opponent of Nguyen. Lopez of Philippines, former champion in a lower weight class. It was a real test of her ability. Lopez very quick. She was able to counter almost every effort that Lopez had. A couple of one pointers coming in for Nguyen. Just landing a couple of punches to the trunk. of Indonesia with 30 seconds to go in the opening round trying to increase her advantage and does so with a two-pointer Nguyen gets another good solid firm kick to the midriff and then follows it up with a second bout and suddenly some confidence from the Vietnamese fighter showing that she is the defending champion trying to take the now to her opponent, everything she's done has come in the last 30 seconds of this round, really speaking. A couple of early punches that got her a few points after the Indonesian Fitiana had got on the board early. And then a couple of kicks back to back, scored two pointers, and then a blow to the head with three. She's doing in front. On a fairly confident margin come the end of the first round. Instructions. Preparing the hit yet. Yeah. Nguyen looking like the consummate professional. Up against the very talented and no doubt a future prospect at 18, but she's up against it in this final is Gianna. Intent from Nguyen. Looking for a reward. So 
He should prefer the score. And the Vietnamese fighter moves into double figures. So the first points of the second round. Bronze medalist in the Asian Games at Incheon three years ago was Nguyen in the 67 kilogram category. She's down a weight class from that time three years ago. And in the last two Asian Championships, she's made the final, but disappointingly for her, she's been on the losing end. Both in Tashkent in 2014 and in Manila last year. She landed the three-pointer, Indonesian Fitriana. <laughs> Nguyen strikes again. Another three-pointer, five seconds of the second round remaining. A flourishing finish here. It's a tame finish for Fitiana. Could have gone for something in the closing stages, didn't want to risk it, but she trails by seven then. With a round remaining, that's new in. Silver medalist in 2009 in the under 73 kilogram category in the under 73 kilogram weight division in 2011. She went one better, claimed the gold and then claimed the gold in the under 67 kilogram weight class in 2015 in Singapore. Now, she does battle to become a three-time champion of the Southeast Asian Games in three different weight classes, does Nguyen. impetus from Fitriana trying to take this bout to her opponent we haven't seen much of uh, full press in this fight Nguyen prefers a little more of the countering so good on defense just cuts her competitor just cut their attacking movement and then goes in for the counter attack which is a very solid way of scoring. And again goes in on the counter and finds another two. Certainly she'd be considered as one of the more advanced competitors, Nguyen. This is better from Fitiana. Another two points to her tally, so she's on the scoreboard in the third round. No score to combat is not where you want to find Nguyen. Goes in for another two. Oh! That's just brilliant. Athletic ability is so impressive. Just want to put the socks base with uh, sensors back on properly. Nguyen just keeping her opponent at bay, a big firm punch to the chest. That's right, wouldn't count, it was more of a knee to the protective gear than it was a uh, full-on kick. But firmly in control of this final. Time running out for the Indonesian Fitriana. score for Fitriana but it's far too little too late 20 seconds remain in this final in the end just showing how effective the use of punches could be just racking up point after point with the odd punch and a competitor expected to be blocking a kick 
Not happy to let the clock run down here, keeping her opponent at bay. That is the end of it. Fairly comfortable victory for Nguyen of Vietnam, who becomes a three-time Southeast Asia Games champion. And she's done it in three different weight classes. Champion of the women's under 62 kilogram Kurugi, having won the 67 kilogram weight class in 2015 and six years ago in Indonesia, the under 73 kilogram category. Charges around the mat with her coach. It's a victory for Vietnam, it's a victory for Nguyen. A very dominant display at that.